Yo, what's going on? Jason Capital here with another Ask Jason Q&A. And it's not actually a Q&A today, so I'm going to close this. This is more of a general message, something really important. Actually, a couple of notes here in case I forget what I want to say. But here's the deal. Um, if you're on my email list, right? If you're on the VIP email list, Dating Advice Daily, you read it every day, every issue. You know it's fucking badass, but you... Uh, also know that at the bottom of every single email, there's an option if you want to unsubscribe from the newsletter. And I don't really have a problem if someone wants to unsubscribe. Like, not everybody loves themselves or wants to be, you know, the best fucking version of themselves, which, you know, I, I wish it wasn't that way, but that's how it is and I get it and it's cool, right? People do unsubscribe sometimes um, and when they do, they actually, there's a box where you can be like, why are you unsubscribing and I can actually get to see it, like reasons why people are leaving. And for the most part, guys are like, I just, you know, I don't believe in myself. I just can't do it. I, uh, I don't know. I just, I got my, went back to my girlfriend, even though she treats me like shit, like stupid shit. Like really, like the whole point of what I do is to be fucking polarizing, which is what I want you to be also in your life at all times. Don't try to be polarizing. Be the best, most awesome, most ridiculously the shit version of you. And by doing that, you're naturally going to attract the people that you should be attracting, the good people in your life, and you're going to naturally be, naturally, excuse me, be repelling the people you don't want. That's what it means to be polarizing. And every single issue of Dating Advice Daily, you get that from me. It is communicated in every word I use, everything I say, my videos, my eyes, everything. You get it, right? That's how it works. I'm attracting the right people into my, my world, and I'm repelling the wrong ones. So the unsubscribe button is kind of like saying, like, you know, I'm just not on your level, Jason, so I'm going to unsubscribe. You know, you're polarizing me. So... It's cool, okay? Totally fine with me. Like, that's how I want it. I don't want you know people who are halfway in. I don't want people who aren't really into me. I want the fucking most badass guys. So, someone unsubscribed today. It doesn't really happen that often. But I saw the note, and this is what I wanted to talk about, okay? I got two minutes left here, and then I'm going to take off. But he said something along the lines of, uh, stop sending me emails your whole uh, let the girl pursue you and make her chase doesn't work. I just lost one high quality woman because of you. I'm done. And he unsubscribed. Okay. So first of all, obviously this is a pretty emotional response. You know, you never make a big decision emotionally. Um, unsubscribing from dating West daily would be one of the most, you know, you know, it's like a huge decision, right? That's like up there with like, what am I going to do for my life? And, uh, you know, what am I going to invest my life savings into? Like the most important decisions, obviously <laughs> kind of joking there. But to, you made an emotional decision, right? You don't make emo decisions emotionally. You make decisions rationally, with logic, you know? And with your heart, your balls, and your mind, you put it all together and you make the right decision. So that was one, okay? But the, the big thing I want to talk about here is one that's really coming from a scarcity mindset, dude. Like, I'm glad you're off the list, okay? Because you really didn't belong with us. But that's a really scarce mindset. Like, I lost one high-quality woman. Like, your advice doesn't work, okay? Um, <laughs> You gotta come from a place of abundance, okay? A place of, you know, some women are, you know, women are transitory in your life. The only thing that's ever going to be constant, there's two things, the only thing that are ever gonna be constant is one change into you. That's it. Everything else is up and down, transitory, it's in, it's out, it's up, it's down, it's like fashion. It just comes and it goes and, and you don't control it, okay? Only things that are constant, you and change. Change is gonna be constant and you are always gonna be there, okay? So, you have to understand that. So you're gonna lose women and you're gonna get more women. Like that's how it goes. And it's cool. Okay. Now the thing is, dude, is you said that um, okay, so there's another important sentence I forgot. But basically in the thing he was like, uh, your whole, you know, be pursued and make women chase you think doesn't work. Women want he said women want to be pursued. This woman wanted to be pursued. Um, and that's that's how it should be. That's what he said. Okay. First of all, anyone ever uses the word should, I'm like, you're a fucking retard, okay? Because there is no should. <laughs> that doesn't exist. There's just what works and what doesn't. And here's the thing, okay, and this is the final point, is that if a woman feels like she needs to be pursued by a man, if she will not see a man, sleep with a man, be with a man, unless he's pursuing her heart and he's, you know, he's earning it in her words, right? If she feels the need that, that has to be like that, that's not a high quality woman. That's a low quality woman. She's, she's, that's needy, right? She needs to feel pursued. She needs to feel good about herself based on something really externally validating. That's not a high quality woman. Okay, that's a low quality woman. And it makes sense that a low quality guy would see that as a high quality woman because he sees every woman as high quality. So I um, just wanted to throw that out there. Dude, glad you're off the list. You know, good luck in the, in the sea of mediocrity. I hope it really works out for you. 
I'm kind of being a dick right now. I don't really care. <laughs> um, let me make sure I didn't miss anything else for you guys. Uh, okay, generally, for everyone else who's still on the fucking dating bus daily because you're a genius, um, <laughs> there are there's one thing you need to just focus on, okay? Understand, abundance works. Being pursued works. Making your chase works. Be the man on his path, doing his thing, and as you're fucking crushing it, okay, invite the women that you want along the way to come with you. You are already, you are already excuse me, a man in motion, and you're saying, hey, I'm doing this, come with me. Hey, we're doing this, come over here. Hey, we're doing this, come with me. And you're still doing it no matter what. You're still on your path doing exactly what you want all the time, and you're inviting amazing women to come with you along the way. Okay, that's what it means to be pursued on a very general level, not like verbally, but in general, or to make her chase. That's what it means. That's what works best in the world. Okay, uh, high quality women like to pursue guys. Um, and the best part is, is if you go and chase a woman and you're doing all these things for her to earn it, when you finally get it, she's not fucking into you that much. Okay, at least sexually, the shit in the bedroom is gonna be fucking boring because she's the one with all the power. Okay, women want to fuck men of power. They don't want to be the ones in power. Regardless of what they say, they're going to be sexually attracted to the man who has complete control of his world. And she had to earn it. Okay, because when she finally gets to fuck him, she's like, oh shit, and she loves it. Okay, so make her chase, make her pursue, do all that stuff. Okay, be on your path. You're not doing it to make her pursue, but you're on your path and naturally, inherently, because of that, she's going to pursue. And then when you guys do finally get together sexually, it's like a fucking rape scene, all right? A legal, it's a legal rape scene. What could be more beautiful? All right, so uh, on a legal rape scene note, I think that's time for me to get out of here. I'm actually going to San Diego tonight for a 24 hour party. I'll be going all night and then all day. Tomorrow, Sunday, maybe at the Hard Rock at, at Intervention. Pool party, could be a good time, might not. Probably the first one. I'm rambling now, so everyone else, you have any questions and whatnot. Send them in. I will get to them for you at some point. And you know what? Have a good weekend. Today's Saturday. Go kick some ass, you know, break some records, some hymens, whatnot. I'm Jason Capital. See you later, man.